Crisis is a threat multiplier to inequality. Whether it's a global pandemic, mass power shutoffs, or devastating wildfires, the impacts and risks are dramatically different depending on who you are and where you live. For the past 25 years, we've been organizing working class Asian American immigrant and refugee communities on the front lines fighting against the state's biggest polluters. The COVID-19 crisis is not the first crisis that we've seen in California, and unfortunately, it's not the last. Right now, fossil fuel billionaires are poisoning our communities and they're destabilizing our climate. But we have an opportunity to dramatically change course, and we can come out of this crisis stronger and better prepared to weather the storms together. That's why we need a Green New Deal in California today. APEN started in the Bay Area in Richmond, California, in a city where thousands of Laotian refugees had made a new home after being displaced from their homelands by the U.S. war in Vietnam. After spending a decade in refugee camps in Thailand, people arriving in Richmond had no idea that their new neighborhoods were surrounded by over 350 polluting toxic sites, including one of the biggest sources of pollution in the state of California, the Richmond Chevron oil refinery. They also had no idea that the air quality was making people sick with some of the highest rates of asthma and cancer in the country. In Richmond, we brought young people and elders together to take on one of the world's biggest polluters so our communities can breathe clean air and build the healthy neighborhoods everyone deserves. We mobilized thousands of people to win just cause evictions and rent control so that our families can stay in their homes. We want a countywide multilingual warning system for disasters like refinery explosions so that everyone can get the vital information they need in a language they understand. And we passed state policy to put $1 billion of solar on multifamily affordable housing so we can have clean energy and lower bills. Our communities are tired of just surviving. We're fighting for a future where we can all thrive. For us, that means leading a Green New Deal that puts the people most impacted by racism, poverty, and pollution at the center of designing solutions. APEM members have already begun to imagine a future without giant oil refineries, fracking wells, dirty gas power plants in our neighborhoods. A future where their families have the resources they need to live dignified lives. We've developed plans to turn libraries, schools, apartments, churches, local businesses, and community centers into sites for clean, renewable energy generation that clean our air and bring down energy costs for entire neighborhoods. We've pushed for building resilient microgrids so that communities with the fewest material resources can weather increasingly devastating climate disasters like floods and wildfires. We're committed to making sure that fossil fuel workers can transition to good union jobs in the new renewable energy economy. And that young people in our communities can also get safe living wage jobs, building the infrastructure of community-owned solar, wind, and energy storage. Most importantly, we wanna put decision-making power back where it belongs, in the hands of workers and communities, and not in the hands of corporations who are going to put profits over our health, our safety, and a stable climate.